What happens when the deep tectonic bones of an island arc begin to crack, twist, and slip all at once? On July 30th, 2025, a colossal magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake struck Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula, and within days, seven volcanoes erupted in a rare, terrifying parade. Now, halfway across the Pacific, the Philippine archipelago is exhibiting the exact same eerie signs. First, the devastating 6.9 magnitude quake that rocked Cebu in September. Then, just days later, the twin 7.4 magnitude tremors that rattled Mindanao and triggered tsunami warnings. The archipelago has been gripped by seismic chaos, and almost immediately, volcanic systems like Tal and Kanlan began rumbling, releasing ash, steam, and volcanic earthquakes of their own. It feels as if the country itself is waking up from a long, dangerous sleep. Are these events connected? Are the quakes beneath the seafloor stirring the magma beneath the mountains? The answer lies deep beneath the surface, in the unseen geological forces that tie the fate of these islands together. Few places on Earth are as geologically complex as the Philippines. The archipelago is not just on the ring of fire, it is the ring of fire crushed at the intersection of four major tectonic plates, the Pacific, the Philippine Sea, the Eurasian, and the Sunda plates. To the east, the Philippine Trench marks where the massive Pacific plate subducts. To the west, the Manila Trench marks where the Sunda plate slides beneath. This dual subduction system has fractured the entire archipelago into a mosaic of microplates, volcanic arcs, and a massive 1-200 kilometer tear that cuts the country from north to south, the Philippine Fault Zone. This same subduction process that generates the nation's most powerful earthquakes also fuels its volcanoes. As one plate sinks, it drags water-rich sediments deep into the mantle. This water boils, melting the rock above it and forming the magma that rises to create the fiery chain of over 20 active volcanoes that mirror the country's seismic scars. Earthquakes and eruptions are not isolated. They are two different terrifying expressions of the same deep, ongoing tectonic story. The story of began on the night of September 30th. The people of northern Cebu were jolted awake by a destructive magnitude 6.9 earthquake off the coast near Bogo Bay, an area previously considered seismically quiet. The ground shook violently, toppling homes, splitting roads, and sending panic across the region. The death toll climbed to nearly 80, with tens of thousands displaced. Over 12,000 aftershocks rippled through the region destabilizing the ground and stoking fear. Then, just 10 days later, the catastrophe moved south to Mindanao. In the early hours of October 10th, a massive magnitude 7.4 earthquake struck offshore of Davao Oriental. Just half an hour later, a second slightly weaker quake followed, forming what geologists call a seismic doublet. These twin quakes triggered tsunami warnings, blocked highways with landslides, and crumbled homes. For weeks, the earth beneath the Philippines seemed to tremble without rest. The sense of anxiety only deepened when reports of volcanic unrest immediately followed. By late October, the nation's focus shifted from the sea to the land, specifically to its most volatile volcanoes. On October 26th, Five Volks reported an unusual spike in activity at Taal Volcano, just south of Manila. Within 24 hours, they recorded 33 volcanic earthquakes and multiple steam-driven phreatic eruptions, sending ash hundreds of meters into the air. Taal's crater lake turned murky and emitted thick sulfuric steam. At the exact same time, seismic sensors detected renewed volcanic earthquakes beneath Canlion Volcano on Negros Island the same island arc where the devastating Cebu quake had struck just weeks earlier. Canlan had already erupted multiple times in the past two years, but these new tremors indicated fresh magma might be moving once again beneath the mountain. The connection seemed undeniable. So is it coincidence or cause and effect? 
the relationship is complex. An earthquake occurs when stress on a fault releases. A volcanic eruption happens when magma pressure exceeds the strength of the rock above it. In most cases, one does not directly cause the other. However, a large, powerful earthquake can absolutely disturb a nearby volcanic system. Strong seismic waves can alter the stress fields around magma reservoirs, slightly changing the pressure within a volcano. This can either seal its conduits or, more frighteningly, open new fractures that allow magma to rise. Secondly, the violent shaking can mobilize magmatic fluids, like shaking a can of soda. If a volcano is already primed to erupt, with its magma chamber full and pressurized, a modest perturbation from a nearby quake could be the final, violent nudge it needs to blow. Studies show that about half of all major volcanic eruptions occur within six months of a nearby large earthquake. Correlation isn't causation, but the key factor is whether the volcano was already in a state of unrest. In the Philippines, this delicate balance is always in play. With 24 active volcanoes and hundreds of active faults, it's almost inevitable that one event will affect another, however indirectly. This interplay makes forecasting doubly difficult. Monitoring agencies must track not only seismic activity, but also gas emissions, ground deformation, and chemical signals, an enormous challenge for an archipelago. The connection may not be linear, but the coexistence of these quakes and eruptions tells a story of deep planetary motion that continues to define the Filipino nation. Scientists warn that the Philippines will likely face stronger and more frequent seismic events in the coming decades, compounded by population growth and climate hazards. But with every quake, the country gains more data and more determination. FIVOLX continues to map undiscovered faults, install new seismometers and use satellite technology to detect ground deformation in near real time. While it's impossible to prevent natural disasters, it is possible to anticipate them. For the global community, the Philippines serves as a critical warning and a model of resilience. If you believe understanding this powerful geological threat is vital, hit that like button to spread the awareness. And to stay informed on the secrets that lurk beneath our feet, subscribe to Biontube right now. We'll see you in the next deep dive.